Tank people! FishtankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good break. I know I am, but I got to bring it to you all on a Sunday. So I want to do a little video on an update on the no maintenance tank that I try to do no maintenance on at my wife's work. So check it out. This is the 55 gallon aquarium. If you're just seeing this for the first time, not to worry. I will link up all kinds of videos. You can click around here and see the start of this and the build of this. I set this tank up almost exactly a year ago and I want to show you guys how it's going. So at the end of this video, you can see links to the other ones and I do suggest you check those out to bring you up to speed on this tank. But what we got going on here is this. It's a 55 gallon tank. It's at a pediatric clinic, all volunteers. Um, and it's meant to be a no maintenance tank and I want to bring you through the process of what we did. When I first set this up, I set it up with Osmocot and I was simply not happy with that. That's a fertilizer, little, these little balls right here, you guys can put this in your substrate and it will feed the plants somewhat, okay? It will feed the plants a little bit, but not enough to my liking. So about six months in, I wasn't getting heavy plant growth. So <clears throat> I want to take a step back here. Okay, so why do we want heavy plant growth, boys and girls? We want heavy plant growth because we don't want to do the work. There's two reasons. Number one, we want the plants to work for us. Number two is that it looks cool. But number one is we want the plants to work for us because I want to not be able to come in here. I want to have a very light fish load, a whole lot of plants, so I can just not worry about this tank because it's lightly stocked, a lot of plants, the plants will work, they'll absorb the excess nutrients, the, the, the fish can take a dump and it won't foul the tank and cause algae everywhere. So we want a lot of plants and I wasn't getting a lot of plants with the Osmocot. I was not getting the growth that I wanted. So about six months in, we dirted this half of it and <clears throat> the growth is good. I won't say it's exponentially better than the non than the Osmocot side, but it is better. Uh, I mean, the Spiralis is going really well. It's Sunday, Species Sunday. You want a little Crips Spiralis action? That Crips Spiralis is doing well. One of my favorite Crips as far as like beefy, hearty Crips. Definitely check that out. The uh, Amazon Sword has nice veins. The Crypt is doing well. An interesting thing, the Water Wisteria is not thriving like I would like it to, but the giant uh, Anubius Hostafolia is doing really well. So go figure. But I wasn't getting the growth. So you can click the link, see the video of how I dirted half of this sucker. So then I started to get the plant growth. I also added the foxtail, which has completely gone buck wild in here, which I like and kind of dislike. But so once the plants were in dirt and then once the tank was kind of established, remember folks, it takes like a, a month or so to even get like plants to just adjust to be like, oh, what the heck kind of conditions are we in now? So just, you know, take that with the grain of stock as well. But six months in, I, I realized I wasn't getting the growth I wanted. I dirted this part of it. And then once I saw growth, here's where it gets fun. I added more light because I wanted to turn up the growth rate. So I added these quad high output T5s that are off my 220 and now i got blasters on my... So I, excuse me, I added these in like October. So what I did, so now my plants can eat as much as they want to eat over here on this side. They've still got something with the Osmocot and I still could replace that. But now they can eat, so now I can turn up the gas, and, and I say gas, turn up the light, and I get a lot more intense plant growth. And you can see this foxtail in here is growing like crazy. Um, you know, this other stuff is doing well. I mean, this tank is definitely healthy. There's new growth on the Anubius uh, all over, despite that it's coming through there. So I had quad high output T5, but here's the tip. You do not want to add more lights until you have a heavy plant load, unless you're going to do a lot of work. So you don't want like a sparsely planted tank and a whole ton of lights, because uh, you will get excess, you know, you will get excess nutrients, or you'll just have to be really, really on it, because the plants aren't there to work to absorb that light. But once you have a ton of plants in there, you're golden. So I had a ton of plants, and I saw new growth, and I was like, all right, cool, now I can add you know, probably triple the light to this. Uh, I only run the light six hours. Everybody can see that. Actually, I'll show you that. The, the timer down here, six hours. Everybody see this here? This is important, God. Get yourself a timer, please. It's so cheap. But yeah, so now it's rolling. So what I do is I come in here and I fill the tank up. Uh, when I'm in, I just top it off. This is on my morning run routine, so I'll, I'll top it off. And then, like today, I'm coming in here, and the only reason I'm even doing a water change on this is because I'm in here shooting a video. I might as well do a water change. So I'm going to do probably 30% water change and, uh, and trim this all up. So, yeah, the no maintenance tank, high, high, high amounts of plants, low, low, low amounts of fish. I've got like three neons, and I've got an angel in here that's a Peruvian ultimate that's pretty tight. So, I'm going to clean this up and show you guys 
And here's and what we're looking up, like buddy? after about a 30% water change. Quick hit, in and out, wham, bam. You can see the plants are bubbling. I removed all kinds of foxtail. It's, uh, it's around here somewhere. So, yeah, it's rolling. I'm trying to get the Peruvian Ultim out. He's not an Ultim. They call them Peruvian Ultims because they got better looking fins. They got the little bloodworm action going on there. A little Christmas snack for these guys. This tank has been left alone for a week, by the way. So, we're having a lot of fun. Check out the Peruvian Ultim over here. Come on, dude. He was getting punked in another tank, so I adopted him from the coffee shop I take care of. So he's a pretty tight little fish. So yeah, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Get on those free top 10 Planet Tank tips. I got a ridiculous sale and a lot of sweet content coming at you from that angle. Everybody make it an awesome week and tank on. Later!